Hey to all of my three people that are going to watch this video. Um, so I'm actually going pe to be doing my July favorites and I'm very excited about it. I think there's some really good stuff in there. Um, I'm obviously going to touch on this look, the outfit that inspired it, and actually mostly it's this nose ring. And just a quick update on the office, which hasn't been much yet. But thanks for watching. Keep watching to see all of that stuff. It's a busy video. Okay, thanks, quick guys. update on the office. We got the filing cabinets done. If you remember, they were a pale, you know, standard cream color. We used a matte black and spray painted them so now they match. This one is obviously a lot shorter than this one is, but the desk is going to lay across them and it shouldn't matter. So the next step will be to go get me a little table to put on my side to balance the desk out and probably spray paint that as well. I'm not sure what color it will be. So Nick actually had to take over the spray painting. This is a matte black. Um, it is so hard to spray paint. Uh, so you actually, as a tip, start off with a little wool, a woolen pad and just so wash them and then scrub them with that to give it some texture for the paint to stick to. And then I guess you take the spray paint and you spray like a light coating over all of it so that it makes it sticky, let it dry, and then you can spray paint the rest of it. I couldn't do it. I thought it was so hard and he had to do it. Um, I guess that when you spray paint, you naturally put a curve into how you spray and you need to be perfectly straight all the way across the entire time. It is super hard, so um, definitely practice if you're gonna do it. Or maybe it's not as hard to you. And I just have no spray painting talent that's possible. Okay, so I will talk about the outfit that inspired this look but for right now you know those days where you want to put on makeup like you specifically want to put on a piece of makeup but you don't want to put on everything or you don't want to spend like an hour doing it and you're just like but I got to put on something so today um, I was inspired a little bit by my outfit mostly by this new nose ring which is so big but yet so pretty and elegant that it looks okay still on my little nose um, and it's like little red gems in there they look a little more orange but they're supposed to be red and then you'll see my skirt that's kind of what put it together and then um, I just love this eyeshadow um, love it's like love plus from Sugar Pill and it's just so pigmented it goes on so smooth and so easy and I love it so much I do a pretty harsh line between the lid and the crease when it's a bright bold color like this and there's a big difference I personally just like it like that I just think that it's kind of a cool look um, and I do it on purpose so I kind of barely blend it but uh, maybe just a make it a little less harsh but uh, mostly I do a line because I like it like that so in the crease I put this really light brown color this is out of the Kat Von D this palette um, and that color is called does it go this way killing jar and then I put cocoa bear um, over that for depth and then the love plus from sugar pill just on the lid and that's it like I didn't do eyeliner I did a little bit more like a um, I think I did cocoa bear again under here and then just a, like a gray charcoal over that um, but that's it and then mascara and then I did contour really quick little bit of um, bronzing again a little bit of 
um, a blush, and of course the highlight, which is the other thing that I was like, oh, I have to do my makeup at least a little bit. So all that stuff I'll list below. This is my favorite lipstick. It's actually, um, I'll list that too. It's like L'Oreal. It's, I know it's number 111. It's just red. It's beautiful red. It's like a true red. Uh, I actually like it better than a lot of the big brand lipsticks out there. So I will uh, list that below as well. Actually, hold on, I like this one. It's called Kiss of Life, number 111, like I said. Oh, it's from Kate Moss. Yeah. Rimmel. I love it. I have like two or three sticks because I don't want to run out. I just wanted to do an up close because while I was sitting there filming, you really couldn't see the details that much. Like the harsh line that I was talking about was pretty much all you can see um, on everything that I did for the makeup. So this is what I did. Um, I also used the Champagne Pop as my highlight under my brow. That's what I've been doing probably in every video. I don't know if you can hear that. That's my cat. I don't know what he's doing. Bones, stop it. He's probably starving. Um, so I just wanted to show that really quick. All right, so this is the outfit. And it's mostly about the skirt. So if you can see the detail, maybe I'll show you straight down. So they are Skulls and Roses, which is my trademark, if you can't tell. Uh, so I saw the skirt, I believe it was in New Orleans. Absolutely fell in love with it and um, Nick bought it for me. I remember it being very expensive. I don't have much to say about this outfit because I don't know, none of it's spectacular. I don't know where any of it's from. I don't remember the store where this was from. I just know it was expensive and he bought it for me and I love it. Kind of fluffy, almost tutu-ish. This is just a tank top from Target and then this is a great little cover. My aunt did a great job. She got it for me for Christmas. Um, I could definitely dress this outfit up more. I was going to wear these red booties, but I am not really in the mood to be wearing them. So these are just these ballet flats, also from Target, bought them on clearance uh, with some nice little sparkly gems on there. They're so cute. So. They kind of dress up and dress down the outfit all at the same time, depending on what you want to do. Um, but yeah, we're just going to a brewery and we're just going to go hit my dad's house for some dinner and stuff. So didn't want to get all crazy and dressed up for no reason, I guess. So I just kind of did something in between. So there you go. Okay, so this is my first monthly favorites. I'm pretty excited. I think I have good ones. All right, let's begin. So I was talking about my nose rings. I don't know if you can see this one, if you can see the color in it. Um, it's really pretty. Definitely one of my favorites out of this group that I got. I also got three others. I haven't worn one of them yet, so I won't talk about that one. I also got this more Indian gold one. I was wearing it in my last video. Um, and it's just very traditional to me. I think it is so pretty. And then kind of the same thing with this one, but it's silver. And it looks like this. I got so many compliments off of those two. I haven't worn this one out of the house yet. I just put it in. Um, I've had my nose, my septum pierced since October and nobody has noticed it really. I think my nose rings are too small and I put those in and people are like, wow, did you just get that done? That's a really nice ring. Like 
even older people have commented on it and complimented me on it. Um, I'm like, no, I've had it done for months now. So I get those off of minkymonkey.com. They have a great selection on there. It seems like they're always getting new things and new varieties, so check that out. If you have any type of a piercing, not just septum, they have all kinds of things on there. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is going to be uh, probably something many of you have seen. It's the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion Original. I absolutely love this. So you unscrew it in this cute little diamond top and it has this really nice easy applicator. Oh, the sun just went away. Great. Hmm. Um, to kind of like really get in the corners and spread it around. I was using uh, Sonia Kashuk and um, I dipped it like a little brush into the little pot and put it on and you know it was okay it wasn't too bad um, some things would crease as it got older it got worse and I finally just stopped using it and went to go get one the other one I was going to get the chick said you know you really do you have oily um, eyelids because this one's not going to help you and so she showed me this one which is super wet when you put it on so you kind of have to put it on and then maybe use your finger to spread it out because a little goes way too long of a way and it makes it um, like this crease uh, before it dries if you use too much so I have to put on like a little bit and then spread it with my uh, finger and then let it dry so that's the only downfall a little goes a long way I think that's a good thing but and then you have to give it a minute to dry before you apply but I really like it. It makes the colors very vibrant and nothing moves. Um, another one, an oldie but a goodie, is um, of course the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I wanted to talk about it because I was, I forever used uh, L'Oreal mascara like they're 16 times the volume mascara. And it, it, it was great. I mean, it really was 16 times the volume, I guess. I really did like it um, and then my friend gave me this one and she was like just use it and because my eyelashes are super long but they're not super thick and so I used it and I was just immediately fell in love with this I love this mascara and then I was like <sighs> so I ran out and then Sephora didn't have any more I didn't have the money the next time so I was like forget it. I'm just gonna go back to L'Oreal and it can't be that big of a difference and it was I was just like how could I have ever thought that this was 16 times the volume you know like compared to the better than sex mascara it was nothing um, I've been using Clinique that's actually what I have on now because then she gave me another tube that she was like here I don't want this and um, it kind of reminds me of one of max mascara like it's good gives you length but not really any um, like plush volume I don't really wear eyelashes because my eyelashes are naturally so long that I just you got it flaunt it and I just want to have my natural eyelashes um, plus I think it's a lot of work to put on eyelashes every day maybe if I go out but not like an everyday thing I like to put on mascara um, another goodie but oldie, I just opened it. So I probably had it for almost a year, maybe a year. My friend gave it to me for Christmas for my birthday and, um, I just barely got done with my other perfume. So I just opened this one and I just love it as much as I remembered. It's like, it's kind of sweet. I don't really like sweet perfume, but it's kind of grapefruity. It's just really well balanced. And the, I mean, the bottle is just beautiful. I love bows. So of course that attracted me to it. And then I just love the smell and you put it on it smells great. Um, oh, I was like, what is it called? It's just Victoria. I just love it. It smells so, it's just, it's just so fresh. 
And then, which one do I want to talk about next? I guess we can talk about makeup, so let's talk about makeup. Of course, I had to talk about uh, Becca and Jaclyn Hill's collaboration, Champagne Pop. I love it. Uh, you, I mean, you just barely tap a little on there, put it on, and it's just like, whoosh. It's just a very pretty, natural-looking color, but yet so much highlight comes out of it. I also use it for, um, like I said, brow highlight. Uh, I just, I think it's great. It's like the only thing I've been using as far as highlight goes for the past month since I've gotten it. Um, obviously it's going to be a limited edition, so I just never want it to run out. I hate it when things are limited edition. It gives me such anxiety. Like, oh, what's the point of using this if it's never going to be around forever? It's not going to be around forever because I'm going to fall in love with it and be addicted to it. And then what am I going to do? Okay. So the last thing, um, I obviously have very short hair and it's awkward. I used to have the side shaved, so it hasn't quite caught up yet. So it looks really, it can look very, uh, tacky. I don't know. Um, when I first wash it and it's straight, it kind of has some volume. It looks okay. Um, and I actually can use a one inch barrel to curl it and that looks okay. I kind of get tired of it. I use a giant waver to crimp it and that looks pretty cute, but this side can look very awkward and just like sticking out. Um, I use a little crimper, but that doesn't really add that much volume. So our high school reunion was the other night, which was so much fun. And I was like, well, I have to do something new. So I finally gave in and bought a wand instead of a curling iron and this one goes from one inch down to half an inch and with my hair being so short it's pretty hard to do it on this side and wrap it around but um i made it through and i this so this is from like okay so i dye my hair weird colors so i only wash my hair like twice a week don't hey um but so like this is from when was the reunion Saturday so this is from yeah two two three days ago so um, I just love how it looks it is such a cute curl and it's kind of a natural curl and my hair is short so it kind of like sticks out in every direction and I'm just crazy like that so I just absolutely love it so anyways it's from Conair this is the box it's called you curl I guess um, it costs me $29.99 30 bucks at Ulta and it does come with like a little glove if it's three fingers and you curl your hair with it um, don't know what that was but it's really hard you can't feel your hair so I didn't really like the glove I didn't really burn myself though without it um, and then it has this really great temperature setting it lights up and it says, I don't even know if you can see down here, this camera angle, but it's 310 up to 400. I just put it up to 400 and so it curled super quick. Um, so yeah, I really recommend that. I really recommend all of these things. Um, so this was so much fun. I haven't got to do, obviously, because I'm new, I'm new to YouTube, a monthly favorites yet. So, um, somebody's calling me. So I think these are really good ones. I'm really excited about it. It was really fun. And, um, thanks for watching. And I hope that you feel inspired to go and get you one of these things. Thanks guys.